Hi friends, welcome to Interactive Medicine. In this video, we can study the hip bone and its parts. There are two hip bones in our body, one on the left side and other on the right side. Together they form the part of the pelvis called the pelvic girdle. Bones of the pelvis and lower back work together to support the body weight anchor the abdominal and hip muscles and protect the delicate vital organs of the vertebrae and abdominal cavity. Hip bones is made up of unification of three bones, namely ilium, pubis, ischium. Here we can see the border of ilium. The upper portion of the acetabulum is formed by ilium. I can show here is the upper bone upper border of acetabulum and uh, ascend large uh, uh, ascend anteriorly and above and here is the border of ilium i can show here is the anterior and posterior portion of hip bone here is the posterior next i will mark the border of pubic here the anterior, anterior inferior portion of acetabulum is the part of uh, pubic bone. Finally, the border of ischium we can see here. The posterior inferior portion of acetabulum is actually formed by ischium bone. I just start with the ilium now. The anterior superior iliac spine provides the attachment for inguinal ligament and uh, sartorius muscle. The anterior inferior iliac spine providing attachment for rectus femoris muscle of quadriceps group of thigh muscle as well as in iliofemoral ligament. The ally of ilium which for latissimus dorsi, quadratus lumborum, erector spinae, iliacus, tensor fasciae latae and abdominal muscles. Posterior superior iliac spine we can see uh, here. Yeah, the it for oblique portion of posterior sacroiliac ligaments and multifidus. And also here posterior inferior iliac spine here. And finally we can see the iliac crust here. Iliac crust has uh, three portions, namely the outer lip, intermediate zone, and the inner lip. It is the curved upper ridge of ilium. It is an at attachment for lat latissimus dorsi, quadratus lumborum, erector spinae, iliacus, tensor fascia latae, and abdominal muscles. Here is the outer lip of iliac crust, we already said. It is the uh, tuberculum of iliac crust for muscle attachment. This is the intermediate zone of iliac crust. The attachment of sacrospinous ligament to greater sciatic nodes form the greater sciatic foramen. We can see the greater sciatic notch here. The body of ilium, we can see here, forms the upper part of acetabulum known as acetabular roof. The gluteal posterior line for the gluteus maximus muscle and between gluteus posterior line and gluteal anterior line we can uh, see the uh, attachment of gluteus medius. Here is the acetabular part of ilium. I just show the border.
we can study now the pubic bone the superior pubic ramus of the pubic bone which forms a portion of obturator foramen we can see pubic tubercle for attachment of inguinal ligament obturator crust also we can see here is the obturator membrane attaches the inferior pubic ramus also the portion which forms the obturator foramen next we can study the ischia here i shows the border of ischia it is the borders border of ischia in posterior side ischium extends back to it a thin and pointed triangular eminence known as ischial spine for attachment of muscles and uh, ligament lesser sciatic nerves we can see here and the ischial tuberosity is the bony swelling on the posterior part of superior ramus of the ischia that gives attachment to various muscles and bears the body weight of bo uh, body while sitting the medial view of the pelvis We can see symphysal surface and here I draw the border of ilium in the medial aspect. Here is the ischia. And here is the pubic. Here is the pubic bone in the medial aspect. First, we can study the wing of ally we already said and the iliac crust we already mentioned and it has the inner lip inner lip of iliac crust here in the medial aspect we can also see the intermediate zone of iliac crust Behind the iliac fossa in a rough surface divided into two portions, anterior and posterior. The posterior portion is known as iliac tuberosity and the anterior is known as auricular surface of ilium. Here we can see the uh, arcuate line. Iliopubic eminence here is which marks the point of union of ilium and the pubis. the body of ilium we can see here here is the let's discuss uh, discuss the medial view of pubic bone here is the pectineal line of pubis also known as pectin pubis superior pubis ramus we already said and here is the obturator canal is a passageway formed in the obturator foramen by the part of obturator membrane it connects pelvis to thigh contain the obturator blood vessels and nerve and the symphysis surface you can see here is the inferior pubic ramus obturator foramen which contains obturator membrane. The medial uh, view of ischia. Here is the border. Which contains the ischial body. 
the ischial spine and the lesser sciatic notch and finally we can study the acetabulum the lunate surface of acetabulum is a curved uh, articular surface and the limbus and finally acetabular notch which is deep present at the bottom of the acetabular cavity this depression is perforated by numerous apertures and lodges the mass of fat